Hey everyone, this is Jessica Hagman at Alden Library. We are on the third floor today, and in just a moment I'm going to flip you around so you can see Hannah Truman, who is, um, has an art exhibit up on the third floor that you should definitely take a look at the next time you're here. So I'm going to go ahead and flip the camera. Okay, hi Hannah. Hi. Could you tell us um, what major you are, and what program you're in, what you're studying here? Yeah, so I am a sophomore in the School of Art Plus Design. Um, at the end of this year, I will apply to a specific area in the School of Art Plus Design. I'm not in any yet, but um, I'm going to apply to painting and ceramics and see what I want to do from there. Um, I'm also a minor in psychology because I want to do art therapy in the end. So. Cool. Um, that's a little bit about me. <laughs> awesome. So um, so this is your Artists at Alden exhibit. Um, it looks like it's all paintings, right? Yes, it's okay. all paintings. Awesome. Okay. Um, which one would you want to tell us about first? Um, I don't know. We can talk about this one here. Okay. And this is the biggest one, right? Yes, it's yes. my favorite one. Um, a lot of this work is focusing on things about me first before I go off and try to help pe other people with their situations. So this is actually a painting of myself. Twice. It's a little abstracted, um, but just to sort of look at myself in a way that I'm finally appreciating who I am and um, just like body positivity and things like that. So, um, yeah, this, this, the kind of emotions around that, and while I was painting it, it came to that appreciation. Whereas, so it was more about the process, but the final piece is pretty too. <laughs> How long did it take you to do something this size? Um, I actually completed this in about a week and a half. Oh wow! Okay. Um, it was at a deadline for a class as well. So. Um, and what kind of? Um, this is probably betraying my lack of art knowledge, but what kind of paint are we using yes, here? Um, this is acrylic. Okay. Um, and it's just on a wooden panel, so. Oh okay. And that's something that for the class we also built ourselves. Oh, so you built this? Yes, we built this, this one and the two on the ends. Too. Okay. Um, <laughs> which one would you like to talk us about next? Um, we can talk about this one here. Okay. Um, so this is a painting of my great grandpa's hands. Um, it's more to reflect on the memory of him and um, he passed away last January. So, um, and I was doing this at the beginning of last semester, so it was still kind of fresh. Um, just thinking about what he's gone through because he's also a veteran and he tells stories after stories stories of his um, time here he was proudly 96 years old going on 97 as he would say um, so yeah that's the backstory behind this one here it's also acrylic um, and done in black and white to be sort of a memory situation is the, um, the pattern intended to be, I guess I can see both kind of um, like a, like the 8-bit style, or yeah. is it represent camouflage, or like what's the, is there a style there? There is, it was mostly to work with the black and white, but also um, to sort of reflect from the camo to sort of make it whole. And okay. um, would you like to tell us about anything else over here? Yeah, um, these top ones here are a separate piece. Um, they were just studies, I call it the evaluation of time. So they were studies on different objects, um, which some I then used in a later piece we'll look at here next. Um, and I was just looking at things like these are my ballet slippers from my first year of ballet. They're old, torn up, beaten, broken. Um, but I just wanted to look at that and study them in that way. Um, also, this um, hourglass came from my great grandpa's house, um, and it sits in our kitchen. It's just kind of a constant reminder of him and our time here. Mm -hmm. um, and the top one there is a little figurine that's a part of like birthday train, but it's like the very start of it. So it's like looking at the start of my life and how time moves and things like that. Mm -hmm. um, and that's done in oil painting. Okay. And those were done, and each one took about three hours. Okay. Do you usually um, sit down and do them all at once, or do you tend to kind of leave and come back? Um, so these ones were, again, for class assignments. Um, and so each one of them was done during a class period. So like a studio oh. class is three hours long. Um, I don't think I went back for any of those, but for these other ones, yes. Okay. <laughs> 
with the smaller ones finished in a sitting. Okay. You can tell I've never taken an art class. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I'm uh, look into what it is like. So. Yeah, I'm glad we get to see this process. We hear about research processes a lot, mm -hmm. but this is a different type of process, and yeah. it's great to see that. We don't... We do do research, it's just a little different. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> As to why we're doing things and the decisions we're making. So. All right. Um, how about these two over here? Would you like to talk about um, those? We can go to the one at the very end. Cause okay. I'm going to turn us around. The small one are oh, so those are the same three objects? These two are. Oh, okay. Or the same two. do the little figuring for this. Um, but this is the consistency of time. Um, again, I was looking at things that had the similar meaning there. Um, my point shoes, you can see here that they're a little bit destroyed than they look in the other paintings. But um, yeah, this is also done in oil. This took, I had to get it done in a week, but it took a lot of time within that week. Um, but yeah, so again, from my great grandpa's house, things that I've connected with. The antler is actually from my dad, so it relates to that situation as well. Mm -hmm. um, the fact that antlers shed every year, again, we see time there. And the fan is also from my grandpa. You can tell a lot of family history yeah. goes into your work. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of my stuff is largely based, like, at least this stuff, is largely based on my experiences. So it's hard to ask people to understand and relate to something so personal, but it's kind of a process, and I hope that by looking at that process that other people can start to relate. Mm -hmm. And I think when you when you talk about it too, it's it's such a universal idea of time and these family things. Once you say what those are, it's a lot easier to, yeah, to like relate. Once you get the context of the work, it makes more sense, I guess. <laughs> All right, so do we have one more then? This last, is this yep, self-portrait? this is my last one here. And yes, it was sort of based off of a picture of me. Um, when I went and started this off, I wanted to do the same style as like the hands where it's a little more, and the large one here, where it's broken up into color blotches, I guess. But um, as I was doing this one, this one is in oil as well. Like I was kind of trying each one of them at different times, but um, yeah, so I just sort of heightened different aspects of myself and um, how I see myself at different points in time, actually. Like, this one I did over the last, like, three weeks of break. And, like, over that break, like, I broke out, and lip wax, <laughs> all of these different things that, like, I see as, like, damaging me, but other things, like, um, I don't know, I, I like eyes a lot, so... Um, different situations like that and wondering like how how much that I how I like self identify and how I see myself perceive myself and how that can influence the way I make um, and I am a lover of flowers which is why they appear a few times in my work but and like how the symbolism of those is just derived from how they look mm -hmm. so is how I look reflect on those. That was the idea behind that one. <laughs> um, you said you did this over break. Were you like at your family's home or did you were you on campus or like no, what I was actually at home <laughs> which is a task because we don't have a ton of like I don't have like a studio space <laughs> where I can go and do this. So I did this in my kitchen. Um, my family is very supportive and <laughs> okay with me moving stuff around occasionally. But um, yeah, this was actually not completely dry when I came back, so we had a little bit of difficulty with transportation, but um, it all worked out in the end. So, and how do you keep it safe in the car if you're if it like did it you? It was sitting on top, and we were hoping that it <laughs> didn't fall and knock into into anything. But most of it was like the reds here that were still. So. Is that does that color go on last? Is that why it was? Um, oils take long to dry to begin with. Um, much longer than acrylics. Acrylics dry like almost instantly unless you add another medium to them. And that's the same with these. Like it can go the opposite way around. Oils take significantly longer to dry, which is why you can go back to them and rework areas. <laughs> but um, I just didn't add the same amount of like quick and 
quick to dry stuff mm -hmm. to it. So it just took longer. <laughs> you said you just got glasses. Would you add those to the uh, to the to the self portrait if you I don't know. did it I now? Got them as I was working on it. Okay. So I don't know. I feel like at this point it would kind of there would be a disconnect between the two. Um, maybe I'll do another one and how I perceive myself with glasses. <laughs> I think it takes time to integrate that. I don't know, they're such yeah. a strong marker. I think I, I just got new glasses too, so um, <laughs> new ones. I've had long glasses yeah. for a long time, but it's such a strong <clears throat> facial yeah, it's thing. Just, it's, it's completely different. So, yes. Yeah, I don't know. We'll see. Um, and we have some. You, did you pick out these books? To I be did. Here? So, what kind of um, what books do we have here? Um, we have a lot of books about. One's actually missing. Someone must have checked it out. <laughs> we have a lot of books about the uh, modern woman because. Um, I like to focus on women and the like, trials that we have and things like that. Um, this one, I, really good. woman artist, Georgia O'Keeffe, and it also has the deer antler, which is a convenient connection. Mm -hmm. um, so modern women, Georgia O'Keeffe, women painters, and then the one on the end there is just women in impressionism. Okay. And it's an interesting topic to think about the difference between a woman painting, a woman, painting women and men painting women like yeah, yeah different gaze <laughs> yeah um just like how it can be sexualized in one manner and how it can be appreciated in another and things like that um which is something i'm starting to get into now um and this one is frida kahlo if you actually read on, into her work um it's a lot of exploring herself like exploration which is the title of my show here um and things like that. And to, the cover is very like it's memorial, like you're thinking of memories in the past and tying that into here as well. When you're, um, as you're studying and thinking about how you want to do your own art, do you spend a lot of time looking at other art or like what is that process like? I think it's changed for me over the years. Like in the past, like in high school, I would look at Pinterest and kind of just gain ideas from that. But a lot of my research now is looking into like the symbolism of things and mm -hmm. how I can like add layers to like it can be beautiful but it can also mean so much if you actually look at what the yellow daisy and bee means and things like that. So, mm -hmm. so yeah. kind of making the work more complex yeah. more than just what it looks yeah. like. Yeah. Great. Um, is there anything else we should know about your exhibit before before we sign off I guess? <laughs> Okay. <laughs> you say that and now you forget. <laughs> Sorry about that. No, it's okay. It's okay. Um, I don't know. I guess I just ask that people look at it and think about how it applies to them in some way or another. Um, yeah, come check it out. <laughs> All right. So just to, uh, I'm going to do a quick little... Yeah, so people can see where we are. So this is a third floor um, before you get to the oversized books. I'm going to just pan across the whole collection here again. And, all right, and uh, thanks to Hannah so much for taking the time to tell us about your collection. I can tell it's something that means a lot to you and has a lot of um, personal yeah. personal uh, experience to it. So thank you so much for putting up the exhibit mm -hmm. and talking to us. And um, I'm sure if you want to know more, you can come and look at the exhibit or um, talk to Hannah if you'd like. And uh, all right, we're going to sign off now. Thanks, everyone.